everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to build a bar graph using Google Spreadsheets. Our goal is to create a graph sort of like this one. You'll note that every graph has a few key characteristics. The first is it should always have a title, and that title should describe clearly the contents of the graph. The second is that you should always have labeled axes. So my vertical axis is going to say what my dependent variable is, that is, whatever it is I actually measured, along with the unit I measured it in. My horizontal axis is going to have my independent variable. This is whatever category of thing it is that I was changing or manipulating in my experiment. You'll note this graph has multiple bars. Each of these bars represents the average of all the trials I took in a particular category. You'll see each bar has its own label, which should say what that category was. The bars also have these little marks on them. These are called error bars. And this error bar represents how certain I am of a particular value. Um, if I were to repeat this experiment, it's likely I wouldn't end up with the exact same average. So what this error bar shows is I'm fairly certain that the actual value is somewhere between the bottom of the error bar and the top of the error bar. Now, in order to create a graph, I need to start with a data set. So here's a sample data set that came from an activity we did in class where we, we were measuring our velocity when we were running versus our velocity when we were hopping. So here, my goal is to build a graph that shows the average velocity when running versus the average velocity when hopping. Now, there's way too much data here for me to graph this. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to create a little mini graph. So this mini graph is going to have my speed running. So I want the label that'll go on the first bar on the graph, followed by the value that goes on the first bar on the graph. So you can see here my average speed when running was 3.82. And I'm going to have my speed when hopping. So the average for my speed when hopping was 1.98. So I'll put that here. Now the error bars are going to be determined by my average spread. So I want my error bar for the speed running to be 0 0.39, and I want my error bar for my speed hopping to be 0 0.29. Once I've built this little mini data table, and again, it's just the label for the bar followed by the value for each of the bars you're planning on doing, you're going to want to highlight the data and label for your first bar. So here I've highlighted speed running, which I want to be the label for my first bar, and the value 3.82, which is how high I want that bar to be. Once I've highlighted the data, the data for my first bar, I'm going to click this button up here, which is my graph button. This takes me to the chart types page. So the first thing I need to do is I need to select the rest of my data. I'm going to do that by clicking over here on this little button that looks a bit like a spreadsheet. If you hover your mouse over it, it should say select data range. So clicking this, you can see I already have one bar's worth of data selected. I'm going to click add another range, and I'm going to select the data and label for my next bar. So I'm going to highlight speed hopping and that 1.98. If I had more bars that I wanted to show on this, I could add another range, and I can add as many bars as I want. Once I've selected all my data, you just hit OK, and now we need to choose the type of graph we want. So I'm going to scroll down here until I've selected column chart, and now you can see I have the basics of my chart already laid out. You see I've got my two bars, my speed running and my speed hopping, and I already have a label attached to each one. This needs to be moved to the bottom of the graph, uh, and we have some labeling to do, but we've mostly got the basics. To fix everything else, we're going to go over here to the Customization tab. From the Customization tab, I can edit everything that still needs to be edited. So the first thing I'm going to do is give this a, descripted, a descriptive chart title. So let's call this the Velocity Running versus Hopping. And you can see when I hit Enter, this will automatically update. And then I'm going to scroll down a bit, and you'll see here it says legend. I want to move the legend to the bottom so that these labels show up underneath my bars. I'll then scroll down a bit until I hit the axis portion of my options. I can label my horizontal axis. So here um, we had my speed running and my speed hopping. Both of those are types of movement. So I'll call this, um, we'll just say types of movement. That was the independent variable, what I was controlling. And then I want to set my vertical axis title. So I'm going to click here where it says axis, 
and select left vertical, and now I have the option to rename my vertical axis. Now I measured my speed running in meters per second. So what I actually am showing here is my velocity, that was my outcome variable, and it's measured in meters per second, so I'm going to want to make sure that I have my unit included. And when I hit enter, you can see that it updates on this preview of the graph itself. Now I just need to add my error bars. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says series. If I click on this box here, it'll let me select one column at a time. So let's start with my speed running. Now we had said earlier that we wanted an error bar of 0 0.39. So down here where it says error bars, I'm going to change it from none to constant. And I'm going to set that to 0 0.39. And now you can see I have that error bar. Now I want to change the error bar for the red bar, the speed hopping. So I'll change this to speed hopping. And again, I move down to where it says error bars. I click this box, set it to constant, and we had said we wanted an error here of 0 0.29. So I'll put in 0 0.29, and there you can see I now have that error bar as well. Once I've done everything, I'm going to click insert, and there it is, I've made my graph. Um, to move this to a Google document, I could just click on this little arrow, select copy chart, and then I could paste it directly into my Google Doc.